How is it going everybody and welcome back to a brand new investment video on FIFA 19. Now, a lot of people have been asking me whether it be in the comments of my YouTube videos, whether it be in the comments of my streams, whether it be on Twitter, etc. When should I buy my players and when should I sell my players? So, I wanted to make a video discussing some of the trades I've made and some of the players I'm holding on to. And I wanted to go through my club and discuss them with you and tell you guys which kind of players are better to buy and which are to sell and to give you guys some reasoning behind it. So, hopefully you guys make some good investment decisions and, and make some coins. So, to go straight into my club, players I'm holding, the first one is Timo Werner. Now, the reason I'm holding this card and the reasons behind a lot of these cards are pretty much the same. I'm holding Werner because I actually packed him. Now, if I'm to look at Werner's price, uh, when I packed him, he's going for about 90k. If I was to predict him, I think he's going for about 100,000 coins. And yeah, he's about 100k. I can see this card being 110, 120 in less than a week and being about 150 come first weekend league. The reason I think that is because he's one of the best, if not the best, Bundesliga striker. Lewandowski's up there with him, but Lewandowski had a, a big pace downgrade. Um... So when you look at Bundesliga strikers, this guy's one of the best. So for people that are trying to make a decent Bundesliga team and uh, have the coins for him, they will definitely pick this guy up. And I think that gives him a, uh, a good position on the market to go up in price and, and be really used a lot and, and be really well to trade with. So uh, that's why I decided to hold on to Werner and not take the 100,000 coins yet. Now, next thing we have Hamshik. Now, Hamshik's actually really cheap, in my opinion. He's about 30,000 coins. And I can see him going up to about 40, 45k, maybe even 50. I just don't see that card being a 30,000 coin card. I really don't. However, with the market right now, it's really low. And I do think that he will uh, definitely rise in price without a shadow of a doubt. So I'm holding on to him as well. Um, if I were you guys, I'd hold on to him until maybe like a few days after the first, uh, after the full game release. Then you will see the sort of prices for players like this. Now, if we're going to, uh, to a Bamiyang, this one I'm going to make the most coins on for sure i i can already tell you now i i bought him a few days ago for 200 flat and i sold him for 250 and i bought him back for 250 and i sold it i i, I could sell him now for 300 Aubameyang is about 300k right now and i think he'll go up to about 450 500 come first weekend league because he's really like if not like he's one of if not the best uh premier league striker this year if i was going to my team real quick and look at premier league strikers uh, there's really not a whole lot of amazing strikers this year that are high rated. You know, we've got some pretty uh, cool guys like uh, Joshua King, like uh, Callum Wilson, for example. But if we were to look at strikers, uh, Aguero's had a big pace downgrade. 84 pace. He's not as, um, he's not as requirable, I guess. He's not as, uh, he's not as, as usable as he was. He's not as, uh, he's not as, uh, as, 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 um, as wanted, I guess. I'm trying to think of the right word. Um, but he's not like... He's not a card that people really want to pick up for Weekend League because he's got a lot lower pace and he's not got great stamina. Harry Kane as well, not a lot of pace. Lukaku as well, not the greatest pace, not the greatest dribbling. Um, people like Gabi Jesus is great, but he's like not the highest rated card, so people don't really want to pick that up. Um, although uh, Gabi Jesus will be a good card, it's like Aubameyang's now got four-star skills, uh, four-star weak foot. He's six foot two and he's got 94 pace, 80 dribbling, 84 shooting. Definitely going to be the go-to Premier League striker for everybody's weekend league teams that go for Premier League that have the coins. So I think he'll definitely rock it up in price. That's why I picked him up and that's why I'm holding on to him. The same thing sort of with Sanchez. I mean, 64k for Sanchez is really cheap in my opinion. I think it could easily go to like 75, uh, maybe even 80,000 coins. I just think that Sanchez really is a decent player that is being slept on because of a lower pace. Sane is the same. I picked up Sane for 115. I think he's already gone up to like 130, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's 131 right now. So this guy's a great pickup. I think that this guy could easily go above 150. Uh, and the earlier you guys buy, the, the more coins you'll make. Just don't buy after the sort of sell day. And you'll see the sell day when players' prices start to go down. Um... Mahrez is another one. Now, Mahrez, I actually picked up for 30k. Now, he scored, I think, a hat-trick today, and he's gone up to 70,000 coins nearly. He's gone up to, like, 60k, and that's a player that I'm going to sell for 60,000 coins or try to sell for 60,000 coins and, uh, and and buy back at some point for lower. I think that this card will not retain a 60k price value at the minute, but I don't think that he's, like, a, a 30k player either. I think he'll settle around the 50k mark, so if I can get 60k for him now, I'm going to take it. It just depends. Like, I'm looking at people undercutting and seeing what they do. If you dips into the 50s i'm gonna hold on to him yeah 57 i'm gonna hold on to him if he dips into it yeah you know what 57k i'm gonna hold on to him and the reason i'm gonna hold on to him is because i think that he will go for like 60 plus k when he becomes a once to watch so that's why i'm holding on to him same with allison i think allison will become a good player to buy when he becomes once to watch if he gets a once to watch because i think that you know twenty thousand coins let me just make sure he's still about 20k 
Yeah, I listened to about 20,000 coins and definitely going to go up. Now, this is a great investment you guys can make. It's Davison Sanchez. Davison Sanchez has 20,000 coins extinct right now. And this card will be easily 40 to 50k. If you can snipe one off the market or snipe two off the market, it's definitely worth the pickup because this card will be a whole lot more expensive than what it is right now and definitely worth the pickup. Jorginho is another one I'm holding on to because I just think that he'll go up for a little bit. And even if he doesn't go up because he's a good player to use, I think come player of the month, I think we'll need a few 84s, 83s. That's why I'm holding on to the likes of Jorginho. He says Fabregas, Pickford, for example, just in case, because I think we can make some coins there. Dembele is another one that I think will go up. Now, I think Dembele is about 30,000 coins right now and easily could be a 45k plus card. So that's why I'm holding on to Dembele. Mickey, you could probably sell Mickey. I think he's about, I'd say he's about 17, 18k. Let me quickly check Mickey's price. I'm on Footbin, by the way. Footbin works again. Yeah, Mickey's about 17k. Um, I would sell Mickey. I just like, I, I like Mickey, so I'm holding on to him because I personally like him. But I think that 17k is probably a good price to sell at. I can't see him being much more than that. I think Taliso will definitely rise up, especially with like Bundesliga Player of the Month and stuff. I think Taliso will rise because he's going to be definitely usable for players like uh, Komen, for players like uh, Goretzka, for example. I think that he gets a good link with a lot of different players, so he'll rise with other players. Um, and speaking of Goretzka, Goretzka is a pretty good price right now. At, like I think he's about 40k. He was 30k when I packed him and I held on to him. He's about 42k. When this guy gets a once to watch, I can see him being 50 plus, maybe 55. So I think he's a good player to pick up and hold on to. And uh, with Komen, I think that... I don't actually know how much Komen is. I've never looked. I packed Komen as well, but this, like Komen's card looks incredible. What's he? 12,000 coins. I think he could probably rise maybe. He's 15k price cap. He could probably reach that max price cap. I mean, look at those st those card stats. I don't think he'll go much over 15, but I think it'll be roughly about that kind of price um, if we were to look at some more players. Zaha, to me, looks overpriced. Like, 82 rated. Yeah, he's got five-star skills, but he's just overhyped right now. I think that this card will be about 12 to 15K. So I think if you have got one now, probably sell it. Uh, I'm only holding on to him for teams and stuff like that. Um, I'm surprised Jelson Martins is not more coins, to be honest. Jelson Martins is a solid card this year. Surprised he's not more than what he is. Uh, Wijnaldum again. I'm surprised Wijnaldum's not more than 6,000 coins. This card could easily be like a nine to 10,000 coin card if people start realizing how good he really is. He's got four-star skills. He's a center mid and he's got really good stats. Philippe Anderson's, I think, another one that's kind of overpriced. However, this guy will probably get once to watch and be out of packs very soon. So it's another card that if you pick up, probably won't lose many coins on because he is going to be a once to watch very soon. Uh, Hulk's got a lot of hype around him, and I think that's going to make him a very sought-after card. So I think this guy will go for like 20 to 40k when he gets a price upgrade or increase. He's actually a really good player in game as well. So if you guys do want to buy a Hulk, definitely try him out because he's really, really good in game. Um, then I'm holding on to the likes of people like Rudiger. Rudiger is one of those players that everyone wants at the start of the game. He's like really solid. He's about 7,000 coins. He's just a solid center back overall. Uh, same with people like Piszczek. Piszczek's only like two to 3,000 coins, but he's like the best right back in that league. So when the Bundesliga becomes more hyped, whether it be a Bundesliga player of the month or something like that, I think that Piszczek will become more expensive when people really want to use that league and looking for players like that. Mendy is one that I think I'll, I'll at least double my coins on. This is like the best left back in the Premier League. And once that catches on, he will become the only player that people use in left back for the Prem, in my opinion. Like he'll be the go-to. And uh, he looks like a really solid card already. Like I really do like his card. And I think that he will become the go-to. And when he does, I can see him go for 20,000 coins for people's weekend league teams, for example. You know, stuff like that. I think that definitely Mendy is going to be the best option. I just realized my camera's kind of like out of frame a little bit. Not entirely sure why that is, but uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll move that a little bit. And Didi's the same thing. And Didi's like, you know, four to five thousand coins will be really meta or really OP for the first weekend league and someone that people try and pick up for the weekend league squads. Um, aside from that, there's not a whole lot of players that I'm holding on to that uh, that I'm holding on to for specific reasons. Um, I think Brian could possibly go up. Vinicius Jr. could possibly go up. Uh, I'm holding on to a bunch of non-rares right now as well. Like a few of these guys. Did I use them in gold upgrades? I'm just holding them. Just in case we need them for like a, a you know an SBC at any point soon. They're quite high rated. So I just thought I'd hold on to them. But apart from that, if I were you guys, i just look. If you've got, got a lot of coins, look in these three players. I think you can make coins. Or, or sorry, maybe these five players is probably a good, a good estimate to make. Or, or, or maybe... Abamyang, Sane, and Mara is probably a good place to pick up. Um, I think that these guys are going to be good money makers uh, and use plays that or buy plays you can use in a team. I'm using like the likes of Mares. I'm using the likes of uh, of a Sanchez, of a Bamiyang 
in my team, in my Div Rivals team, if I, guys, if I show you guys now. And it means that I can then play Rivals and make coins through through games and through through Rivals rewards while still holding on to investments. It's just a great way all around to make coins. This is the team that I'm currently rocking. And by the way, I'm actually doing really well in, in Rivals right now. I know my record looks terrible, but I've honestly like barely taken any losses over the last few days. Currently got nearly 12,000 points in Rivals, and I just keep grinding points. And the reason I keep grinding points is to stay ahead of the curve. I want to stay like three to 5,000 points ahead of rank one, just in case one night I can't play. I don't have to worry too much about it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool, dude. It, it's, re it's really cool. Um, so I'm super excited for it. So... That has been today's video. If you guys did enjoy, uh, I'd appreciate if you guys could leave a like. It would mean a lot. Thank you for watching this video. It's the second time I had to record this video. So if I seem tired, it's because I actually recorded this video already, but my microphone wasn't even turned on. So stupid move by me. But thank you for the support on the latest video as well, guys. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you later.